Hello and welcome to the sewing studio. Today I'm going to show you how to make these gorgeous little bookmarks that you can tuck into the corner of your book. So you can keep all your patterns, your favourite patterns in the right place rather than having to stick bits of paper in. So I'll just show you how they work and then I'll go on to show you how to make them. So you can just pop them in. They work for other books as well, like paperback books. So you've actually got your place marked there. And how pretty is that? So if you wanted it in your quilting book, you can just pop it in, you can go through, find your pattern. I think, right, that's where I want to be. And actually you can mark two at the same time. So one for the front, one for the back. So I've got another one in here. I'm just going to show you how to make these. They would also make a gorgeous gift. You could pop one in a birthday card and pop it in the post because it's nice and flat. So I've made two sizes. This one starts out as a four inch square. This one starts out as a five inch square. So the bigger one would work with bigger books. I'll just show you how that works. So the choice is yours. Let's just tuck that on there like that. So you can see how that one works as well. So what you need is you need three pieces of fabric. So I'll demonstrate on the five. So you need three pieces of fabric. And if you want the, let's show you this one. If you want the back and your corner the same, you're going to take the one that is the corner and you're going to press it in half and you're going to press it in half wrong sides together. So the right side is looking at you. So you're going to press that to make a triangle and then you're going to sandwich that between your fabrics. So this is going to be the back, i.e. that one. This is that piece, so pop that on there. Just line it up and then you're going to pop that piece. So these are right sides together and that's the right side on, on both sides. Just want to say before we do that, some of these have been top stitched and some haven't. So this one I top stitched just to make it a little bit flatter. But if you just like the fold, you don't have to do any more. So this, this one's the fold, or you could put some hand stitching and decorate it. You could even embroider someone's initial on it. So if you're going to do any decorative work on this corner, the time to do that is before you put it in. So if you were going to top stitch, for example, you top stitch now before you pop it into the middle. So that goes in there, that goes on top. And then you're going to machine all the way around using a quarter of an inch seam and leave a gap for opening. But don't leave your gap on the side where you've got this triangle. So leave your gap for opening on the opposite side. So you can see this is where the triangle is. And my gap for turning is going to be on this side. So. I've done one here, so you can see there's the triangle and we might need a close up of that one so you can see what I mean. The triangle's in there and the gap for turning is there. So you're going to snip off your corners, being careful not to cut through your stitch line. And then you're going to turn this through I'll just turn it through and make sure that you push out all of your corners so you get nice points. And then you're going to go to the iron again and you're going to press that, pulling out the corners as you do. And you can see here that we've got the gap and at this point, I'm just going to press that closed because then we're going to top stitch. So give it a good press. And 
and then you would top stitch all the way around and that's it completed. So I'll just show you this one that has been top stitched and just top stitch it all the way around and that's your book corner and your book cover. So they're really quick and easy to do and they make fun little presents or you could put them on all your quilting books. So as always have fun and I look forward to seeing you next time here in the sewing studio.